classic Western series Rawhide was one of the best TV shows during the golden age of television. To this day, it inspires many Western TV shows and films. What made it a huge hit was the incredibly talented cast members. Sadly, many of the main cast members who were on the show from start to finish have since passed away. Let's learn about Rawhide and how each of the main cast members died. Eric Fleming Eric Fleming was born Edward Hetty Jr. on July 4, 1925, in Santa Paula, California. He had a troubled childhood. He was born with a club foot and was often the victim of brutal beatings from his father. As an eight-year-old, he even tried to kill his father with a gun. The gun jammed, and Edward decided it was best he escape from the family home. He escaped to L.A. and eventually settled in Chicago. He worked a series of odd jobs and even was involved in local gangs. He did whatever he could to make a quick buck. He once tried to lift a 200-pound weight to win a bet. He failed miserably and injured himself, requiring plastic surgery for a facial reconstruction. He realized he had to slow down in life and find a steady job. He returned to California and found a job as a carpenter at Paramount Studios. One day, he auditioned for a role and made a bet with a professional actor he'd get it. He failed and had to cough up $100. Losing this bet hurt Eric's ego, but led him to take up acting classes. He was now determined to become a professional actor. He began his acting career on stage, eventually performing in a few Broadway plays. He also appeared in a few B-movies, including Curse of the Undead and Queen of Outer Space. But his big break came when he was cast in the lead role of Gil Favor in Rawhide. He played the role from the first to the seventh season and became a household name from the show. He made only a few movie and TV appearances apart from this role. For the TV show Off to See the Wizard, which was filmed in Peru, tragically he and co-star Nico Monardos were in a canoe that overturned. While Nico managed to swim to shore, Eric was swept away by the stream and drowned. He died September 28, 1966, at age 41. Before we tell you more about how each Rawhide cast member died, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. Sheb Woolley Sheb Woolley was born April 10, 1921, in Eric, Oklahoma. His father was a farmer, and from a young age he learned how to ride horses and became a rodeo master in his teens. Little did he know these skills would help him later in his acting career. But he actually began his showbiz career as a musician. He performed in a country western band called Plainview Melody Boys. In the 1940s, he supported himself as a welder and oil worker while performing with his band during his free time, living mostly in Texas. In the 1950s, he decided to leave Texas to move to Hollywood with the hopes of becoming a professional entertainer. It was around this time the TV industry was booming and Sheb wanted to try his hand at acting. He naturally gravitated towards westerns, appearing in shows such as The Range Rider, The Lone Ranger, and The Adventures of Kit Carson. His big break was when he was cast as Pete Nolan on Rawhide. The show made him a star, and he even wrote and directed a few episodes. He also managed to land roles in major feature films including Giant, The Black Whip, The Outlaw Josie Wales, Hoosiers, and Purple People Eater. This last film was based on a famous song he performed. Even as his acting career grew, he never stopped performing country and western songs. A mention should be made that Sheb Woolley was the voice actor behind the famous Wilhelm Scream that you've definitely heard in several films. Sadly, he was diagnosed with leukemia in 1996 and died from it in 2003 at age 82. Paul Brinegar Paul Brinegar was born December 19, 1917 in Tucumcari, New Mexico. He became interested in acting in his teens and performed in high school plays. He later attended Pasadena Junior College and studied drama. He eventually enlisted in the U.S. Navy in the Second World War and served as the chief radio operator. Upon returning to civilian life, he moved to L.A. and worked as a radio repairman. In his free time, he sought out acting roles. His first major role was in the 1948 film Larceny. He managed to land several bit parts in popular films and TV shows, though many of these roles went uncredited. However, he soon became known for his role in the popular Western series The Life and Legend of Wyatt Earp. But it was his role as George Washington Wishbone in Rawhide that made him a star. He was one of the few actors who appeared in all eight seasons of the show. 
His TV roles, apart from Rawhide, included Death Valley Days, Lancer, and Matt Houston. He also appeared in major films including Charo, High Plains Drifter, and Maverick. He appeared in a few popular TV movies as well, including Man of Action, Crisis in Sun Valley, and Wyatt Earp returned to Tombstone, which was his final acting role. He died from emphysema at age 77 in 1995. Robert Cabal Robert Cabal was born Harold Christopher Ching on April 7, 1917 in Honolulu. He began his acting career in his 30s, with his first role as a muchacho in the film Ride the Pink Horse, though this role went uncredited. Nevertheless, he clearly showed an interest in westerns from a young age, despite being born in Hawaii. He continued to take on bit parts in feature films throughout the 1940s. His first major film role was as Joaquin Murrieta in the 1952 western film The Man Behind the Gun. His best-known film roles were in Escape to Burma, Jungle Hell, Around the World in 80 Days, and The Women of Pitcairn Island. He also found roles in popular TV shows like The Cisco Kid, Hopalong Cassidy, Broken Arrow, and The Californians. His final acting role was in Iron Horse in 1967. But the role he was most famous for was as Jesus in Rawhide. He played the character from the first to the seventh season. He retired from acting after 1967 and largely stepped away from the limelight. He died in 2004 at age 87. His cause of death hasn't been disclosed. James Murdoch James Murdoch was born David Lee Baker, June 22, 1931, in Normal, Illinois. When deciding on a stage name, he felt the name Murdoch would help him land tough guy roles, and he was right. His first role was as a henchman in a 1958 episode of Have Gun, Will Travel. He followed this up with an uncredited role as a deputy in a 1959 episode of Trackdown. But the show that made him a star was Rawhide, where he played the role of Mushy from seasons 1 to 7. Rawhide was also the period when he was the busiest with his acting career. He followed it up with a few guest appearances in popular TV shows like The Monroes, Gunsmoke, and Bob Hope Presents the Chrysler Theater. He also had a few film credits in later life. He played Clint in the film Some of My Best Friends Are and played the Reverend Bob Heron in Airport 1975. His final role was as an FBI agent in The Godfather Part II. He died in 1950 due to complications from lung cancer and pneumonia in Calabasas, California. Now it's time to hear from you. Who was your favorite character on Rawhide? Let us know in the comments section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.